Hi, I'm Anthony Vancouvering, and I'm the CEO of Minds and Machines. And today I'm going to get, talk about getting started with a city top-level domain. But if you're a state or a province or a region, the information here applies to you as well. So what's a top-level domain? Well, you already know something about top-level domains because you use them every day. Let's take the domain name of the site that you're on today, which is .cities.info. And as you see here, .info is the top-level domain. It's anything to the right of the dot in a domain name. You probably already know about the domain names .com, .net, .org, and obviously .info. Now ICANN, which is the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, which serves as the regulator for top-level domains, is going to give cities, states, provinces, and regions the chance to get their own top-level domain, or TLD. And once you own a top-level domain, you can sell or distribute second-level domains to other people. So for, again, for instance, the second level domain is the .cities part of the, of the whole domain name. And we bought that from the .info registry for about $10. Prices vary and you can set whatever prices you want, but $10 is a typical price today on the retail market. Paris, Tokyo, Rome, and others have already announced their intention uh, to get a city top-level domain. It's great for them because it provides tremendous benefits in terms of branding, tourism, citywide distribution of services over the internet, and of course revenue. And you can read a lot more about the benefits of a city TLD elsewhere on this site. So if you're a city and you're interested in moving forward with this, which we recommend highly, what do you need to do? In one sense, you don't have to do much because ICANN rules say that if you're a geographical TLD, such as a city, you get to decide how and if the name is used. Unlike other new TLDs, which face competition, city TLDs have to be blessed by the appropriate government. Even so, you do have to apply to ICANN, and you do need to run the registry once ICANN has accepted your application. The application itself is very technical, and is quite complex, and is full of industry jargon. And running a registry requires some heavy-duty technology. So probably what you're going to want to do is hire a registry services provider. And this is a company that would help you with the application, with setting up the business of running a registry, and providing the technical infrastructure you need. And they will charge a fee for that, uh, but it depends on the registry services provider how much that is. Typically it's between one and four dollars per domain name. Minds and Machines is one company that provides these services, and there may be nine other companies around the globe that are our competitors, and you can look at them and decide which one is best for you. In our opinion, the best way to make that choice is to issue a request for proposals, uh, also called an RFP or a tender bid. So the city would write up its requirements, uh, and then get interested registry services providers to come forward with a proposal that meets those requirements. That's what .paris did, and that's what .nyc did, and we think it's the best way to make sure that you get the best vendor and the best deal. And elsewhere on the site, you can find a list of sample requirements that you should consider. I'm Anthony Vancouvering. I'm the CEO of Minds and Machines. And this has been an introduction to getting a city TLD.